Well, we took us a little, little break and we're back here now to work on putting up this frame here more. What I went over here and got is I have a whole stack of these. They're, they're a heavy grade. They're, they're like a wall stud, like a metal wall stud. These are a real heavy grade, almost as heavy like a purlin. And uh, I'm going to use those to run down through here between these frames. And I think that'll be the ticket right there inside. Yeah. Let me see here. So I asked Melinda to hold that so I can demonstrate. So I think I'm going to stretch these between the frames. I'll put like a frame and a frame. <laughs> Hey, can, can I check if that's a level? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, like, probably about where she's at right there with her goofy head. I'll, I'll put a frame, like, right there. And one, like, halfway. I think that'll spread out this uh, greenhouse frame to where I can either make it longer or possibly make two greenhouses. I think just make one long one though. So Melinda, she was also asking why I had this spread so far apart right now. And she's really right. I need to put one halfway in between it. I'm just trying to spread these frames further. And we can make this greenhouse a little bit bigger than its original plans by putting uh, this metal stud. And like I say, this isn't that no cheap flimsy stud. This stuff here. It's really strong. It's a nice thick gauge. And I can put these all up here, across up there, up there, up there, up there. And this gives something really nice to pull material around and uh, connect to as well. And as you see, it has pretty much the same finish. It's kind of like a zinc or galvanized as this tubing here does. I think it'll work. Uh, what I might do is go in between right here and actually screw wood on. In between these and that'll give me a soft material to attach like this tarpaulin and stuff to so uh, yeah I'm gonna continue on here this is the gist of it how it's going right now we will do a little modifications but I think it'll end up making a pretty large greenhouse I've got a couple of other ideas that's coming down also on some things we can do on the outside of it and I'll share those as we move further along right here well, Mel, let's go get another one of those panels and let's do what you said. Let's put another one up yeah, in the middle.
we're tired for right now, I tell you. Uh, we're gonna go take a break and get some water. But what do you guys think? It's coming along pretty good, huh? Is it starting to look like a greenhouse? I like it. Of course, I'm modifying it. It's not gonna be in its original format, as you can see, with these pallets down the side and stuff. Um, I've gotta cut some pieces of steel out where the walkway is on the inside. And, but man, you know what? I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm just, my mind just riddling with ideas, you know? Um, I was thinking about maybe just getting some, maybe 12 volt panels, uh, put a couple 12 volt panels, maybe uh, like, or just one 12 volt panel, it don't matter. Maybe at one deep cycle battery back here. You can operate that fan during the summer, blowing, uh, keep too much heat from in there. And of course at nighttime it don't matter much. Uh, we can put some greenhouse LEDs in. I have some little 12 volt timers here already. We can set a schedule for the lights to come on and off. I can get online and order those little, uh, like say LED, greenhouse lights that use hardly no power at all so uh, I see a lot of things tick 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 ticking in the head yeah I'm excited for it uh, this is something I wanted for a long time it was so hilarious uh, every time I would tell my father I was thinking about putting in a greenhouse he'd go you better not do that they're gonna come raid you they're gonna think you're growing that man there <laughs> Anybody knows my father out there and sees this, you know that's true what he said too, boy. So I want to cover another part of this greenhouse build that we were doing here. The other day, we got started on it, and we were going pretty good with it. thought, man, we're going to keep on extending it out. And hard winds hit, and rain came back in, and it rained for days. You can still see the, the water standing here. So we, we thought we were going to make a straight through vlog of getting this greenhouse up, but we were unable to. Then when the sun come back out, we had some very important other chores to do with the cattle and all. We couldn't come back to it immediately. So I want to cover here on this next segment of this video about building this and show you what we had done so far. So as you see, we got these frames on here and I have a whole big stack of these heavy duty metal wall studs. So I shot them in here, see, with those self-tapping screws right there. And I've got them up making this whole frame up and around this. And I need to put one right down that middle, directly down. So you don't get anything sagging and holding water up there in that top. So I put those in there and then we'll continue them on. I've got more of these crates and we'll probably, this thing will probably be double this length. And we got another set of these crates that'll continue here. We got more of this tarpaulin around here. This thing will most likely be double the length that it is now. I'll step back, show you. It will most likely come down about from where I'm standing now all the way to down there. So this is the method I'm doing so far. I'll come back and put an additional T-post right in here at this middle piece of the frame right here and drive it in. And then I'm gonna drill those and anchor them really good because we do not want the wind blowing our greenhouse away. We've seen it happen with other gardeners before. Then these frames, when they were built to be sitting on the ground, they had a solid tube right here when I went across. Uh, like this one down here at my feet does. Well, you can't walk through here with those tubes blocking you. And we have it suspended in the air now. So I put my cordless Ryobi grinder, four inch grinder, four and a half, whatever it is, and cut all those tubes out right down through there. So you can walk through it. As I get more of this done, I'll show and explain for you that don't know uh, the technique of how this greenhouse was designed to be used. But the gist of it is, is that you put shelving across right here, like from that one to this piece, to the back piece, 
again, again, and you have layers of trays, containers, whatever you want to use, growing things. Same thing over here. So this gives us a whole lot more room. I'll probably either use more of this tarping or I may use metal and skirt it. We'll see. I'm just not to that point yet. But we got a few things to get done here and then we're going to return back to finishing this out. Looks pretty good though. Oh, let me explain these too. So the reason these are on here, I'll show it from the back side. There's a tube there and there. It's because when we cut this down here at the bottom, let me step back where you can see better. When we cut those open across the bottom, this thing could spring out. It puts all that pressure just on that one tube at the top and it could buckle. So I shot these across and that stiffens that frame so it can't spread out. So that's the reason these are up here. They, I don't hit my head, they completely clear my head and you still can lay your shoveling across there. So that's what we got going on with that. And in the next day or so, if the weather holds out good on us, we'll get out here and get more of this greenhouse done. But y'all tell us what you think about it so far. We've got several pieces of this frame left and I think it's gonna make a really awesome set up for Mel. For Mel and I both, you know, I call it hers, but it's both of ours. And, but she really enjoys this. It's your, it's a good pastime for you and you enjoy it. All right, well, let's get these tarps out of the field and let's uh, make sure we don't have nothing else in the grass here. Let's do this then.